Hey, peace. Hopefully y'all get to see this video because for some reason Instagram is hampering me from uploading videos to the Instagram like of new items and different stuff. So if you are serious, pay attention, get a pen and paper. If you are serious about supporting the brand, that means buying crystals, buying herbs, buying jewelry or doing the consultations that we offer get a pen get a piece of paper and you can follow me on facebook because we load more um crystals and jewelry up on facebook because instagram is hampering me so get a, a pen and a piece of paper and write down my facebook this is for people who want to support the brand like if you want to make purchases, do consultations, get herbs and crystals, okay? So get a pen and a piece of paper. I'm not going to be on long, but you can send me a friend request to Facebook. G-A-R-A-I-W-H-I-T-E. G-A-R-A-I-W-H-I-T-E. That's the Facebook page where we do more posting of crystals and herbs and stuff like that and if you want to do crystal consultation or herbal consultation okay but if you don't want to do none of that then don't even send the request you can just stay on instagram because you're really trying to um the facebook page is more strictly business and stuff like that you know so anyway it's a beautiful day out let me just show you how beautiful the day is out here see how beautiful it is out here See, it's a beautiful day. So, I made, you know, a little post office errand. A lady um, who's a return customer from my Facebook friends, um, she wanted a Moldavite pendant necklace. I made it for her. It shipped out today. And she says, I love the energy of your pieces. And, you know, most people who support the brand... Let me just tell you where this energy comes from. The energy comes from inside of me. It comes from the creator. And it comes because the, the crystals um, are surrounded by other crystals that emit frequency. So if you buy a particular crystal, you're getting the frequency of that crystal. But you're also getting other frequencies because there are some crystals that you can place around crystals. And it will enhance the frequency quality. So that's what you're getting. And not only that, but we're serious about the healing here. You know, we're really serious about healing, elevating, changing our lives, becoming better people within, and just being aware of, um, you know, the work that we have to do on ourselves. Cause, because this here requires basically work. You know, this requires doing some work on yourself. And it really... Um, the work can be more pronounced and enhanced when you're really looking at yourself and who you are. Meaning, you're no longer lying to yourself. You're no longer fooling yourself. You're no longer letting people fool you nor lie to you. That means you're stepping into your net worth. What is your net worth? You are your net worth. Your net worth will have nothing to do with the clothes, the jewelry, the car, the house, the apartment, the money. That's not your net worth. It's a form of net worth. But the true net worth is how are you treating yourself? Are you taking care of yourself? Are you um, um, having positive aspirations within yourself? Are you really looking at why I feel like this? What I need to do? Why do I compromise? Why I'm not really being more assertive? Why I'm letting people walk over me? Why do I walk over me? Why do I criticize myself? We want to really connect these dots and, um, and get a better understanding of what it is we need to do to always put ourselves in the best position of winning. Winning means I'm winning within. Why? Because I'm looking at myself. I'm doing the high cosmic frequency elevation healing work. I'm, 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 I'm taking time out to just sit still and meditate either early in the morning, early in the morning or at the end of the day. Um, you know, you're just doing things that are consistent with well-being. That's basically what it's all about. 
You know, life is going to happen whether you like it or not. People are going to die, relationships are going to end, people are going to lose jobs, all kind of stuff is going to happen. I mean, that's just the that's just the way it goes. You know, the ups and downs of carousel. But the key is what I've realized over the years, and I'm still realizing more and more, is that what helps me is I look at what's happening. And then I say, what can I do about what's happening? And if I can um, make some small or medium or large changes pertaining to what's happening, then I will attempt to do that. But if I can't, then I look at why am I feeling an emotional feeling or frequency pertaining to what's happening. Meaning, I need to delve in and find out why am I feeling whether uncomfortable afraid, scared, anxious, freaking out, paranoid, um, anxiety, all that stuff. And then once I get to the root, right, of knowing the cause of why I'm feeling um, the way that I feel pertaining to whatever it is that may be going on, then I want to ask myself, is this something that I want to keep inside of me? Is this something that I want to carry? Is this something that I want to have in my life path or within my life force? And then once I go within and equate whether this is something consistent to the um, the path that I'm on or the path that I want to be on or like the healing, because I always tell people, listen, you know, like I'm in constant healing mode and that's the key. You know, we all are in constant healing mode because we all may have faced different traumas and dramas and so on and so forth. So we have been affected by poisons, the poisons of life, whether it's eating, thinking, the way we was raised, the information we got, the information that we did not receive, um, you know, like just all that stuff that makes us who we are. And, and, and now I want to say this. It's not always a bad situation because the key is what I realize more and more is that, you know, people go through a host of different things and, you know, um, it's usually the interpretation of what's happening and the facilitation of plan of action pertaining to what's happening that does two things or multiple things. Either you are weakened and destroyed and stagnated or you are motivated, elevated, and um, giving a new sense of direction on how to handle and deal with situations. Because, you know, like things, things some, a lot of stuff just come out of nowhere. And so what I'm saying is like, um, it's like, um, I would say like having enough sense to use logic to, um, like I said, weigh things out. Yeah, basically weigh things out and just get a stronger sense of what's the best positive possible direction that I can take pertaining to this situation. I mean, even if your back is up against the wall and you may not see no way out of it, you still got to do your best to think a way out of it. Why? Because like I tell most people who know me, you have to live in your body. And I want y'all to say that. Say, I have to live in my body. I have to live in my body. So the key is I want to make sure I'm getting along first within myself so that way I can nav navigate safely outside of me while I'm living inside of me, navigate safely and navigate hopefully safely with other people and encounters as I live 30, 40, 50, 60, 80, 90, 100 years or whatever the case may be. Why? Because you have to live in your body and you want to make sure that you're winning. Winning means that I'm always returning to a state of peace. We're going to go through feelings, anger, situations, but at the end of the day, you want to meditate, bring yourself back, bring yourself back to yourself, bring yourself back to yourself, and just calmly calm yourself down and look at whatever it is that's going on and say, you know what, it is what it is, tomorrow's another day, and you know, I'll do things differently, or I'll navigate differently, or I won't let those things affect me like I did and a lot of times is, you know, um, like just being in the life path of experience. Because that's all it is. It's basically experiences. Some people, stuff happened to them, they bounce back quick. They keep moving. Some of us, we go through a jolt or we just go through a whole array of disarray, of crying. Um, you know, just like, you know, stagnation, confusion or whatever it may be. And it's okay. 
But the main thing is you want to look at everything about who you are because you got to live in your body, right? So you want to look at you want to look at everything about who you are, who you are, not who they are, who you are and figure yourself out. Connect the dots, map it out, figure what makes you tick figure what makes you uncomfortable, all that stuff that makes you who you are. And then that's when you get a higher cosmic understanding of frequency pertaining to who you are. And then you just start looking at the things that are good things about you, beautiful things about you, and things that, you know, you shouldn't be doing that. Maybe you got attitude problems, maybe, you know, um, um, management problems pertaining to your life, your time, relationships, whatever the case may be. And then you just slowly, um, you know, just, you know, like this slowly put things together. Now, here's the deal. You don't have to do everything in one jolt or in one day. You take the smallest thing that you're capable of doing, fixing, mending, realizing and understanding and you work on that small thing until you map it out until you connect the dots and then it'll all come together like a brand new level and I always tell people that so what I'm saying is don't worry about what other people doing how you know whatever focus on self and I'm not saying being selfish no I'm saying love yourself on a deeper level become your own best friend become your own best company so whether you got people or you don't you got you why because you have to live in your body like I said most people who know me right um, who I've had conversations with or who you know I do consultations with and stuff like that I'm just sharing like this is not stuff I learned in school Okay? This is not stuff that I got a degree in and all that. This is just stuff that I had to figure out for myself within myself. And so what happened was it brought me closer to myself because I had to realize that the creator, right? When the creator creates, the creator places everything in that creation that it needs for nurturing or whatever. Even, even if a person may not be born seeing, Right? They still got other um, aspects to where they can kind of move about, so on and so forth. Because I know many of you have seen people with no arms, no legs on the internet, and they doing all kind of spectacular, wonderful, inspiring stuff. So what I'm basically saying is that, you know, we can do what it is that we need to do. We can. And then on the flip side... Some things we are hampered from doing or we're unable to do. And if you recognize that you're hampered and that in this given moment you cannot do specific things, then find something else that you can do that will keep you in the harmony and flow of positivity. You got to keep moving. You got to keep grooving. You got to keep shaking. You got to keep making. You got to keep manifesting because that's what it's all about. Because there's a reason why you're breathing. This breath that was given is a gift. Everybody has a gift. The people who left the earth, they had a gift. They had a gift, so on and so forth. Now they're in another realm. They're in another frequency, so on and so forth. So what I'm saying is that you're in this body to do some earth work, to do some soul work, to do some you work, to, 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 to really connect the dots. But most of all, you're really in this, this body to do the earth work of truly embracing who you are, removing the mask. Okay, remove the mask. Just be yourself. Take a deep breath right now. Take another deep breath. And just remove the mask. Get real. You want to cry? Cry is okay. And if brothers, whatever, you know, it's okay to cry. Just be yourself. Because, you know, um, a lot of things that we have taken on was because of certain situations and circumstances. We had to take that on. We, had, we may have to be a little cold or a little whatever because of certain circumstances and situations. But the key is, in knowing all of that, now we can return back to self. We can be more humbler and more gentler. But you want to be aware. Because you can't be... Um, nice around, you know, every situation, no, but you still want to be using logic, you want to be aware, and you want to be wise, because with all the knowledge we have, knowledge is nothing unless we are, I learned this from um, the first person who, um, who um, gave me a crystal, right, and her name was uh, Miss Devaye, right, Cuban lady, 
So I would have conversations with her in her office, right? Because at that time I was in a different situation and um, she had these crystals and she was telling me um, people at the job are giving her flack about her crystals in her office. And she said um, they don't understand it and this and that. So anyway, I had transferred to another um, site, right? And she gave me this amethyst, right? I'm telling y'all how, you know, this thing kind of came together. You know, and um, I didn't know what I had. So over time, you know, years went by. And so I think it was like my, um, uh, I was doing a Ramadan fast, right? And I said, I said, look, these are my exact words. I said, God, take me to the next level. I want to go to the next level. And um, one of the, um, the brothers who I would go down to his house, right? Me and his wife, we would all talk and eat food and stuff. Um, she showed me her crystals, right? Because I was talking about crystals, blah, 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 you know. And I think, I'm not sure, I think at that time I was um, actually actualizing the cosmic crystal life, right? On a deeper level. The level, that, the, the level, like the beginnings of the levels. Not where I'm at now, but the beginnings of the levels. And she showed me all her crystals, and then I felt, she let me hold one. I think it was called Apophyllite which I have, right? And I felt this like this feeling of like not not like bust out crying, but like I felt like like I wanted to like release something, like a like a you know, like a cry or whatever. And that was my first time really feeling the energy of a crystal. So then like I said over time, you know, I started making connections and so on and so forth. And see, this is where I'm at now. So, you know, that's that's where the journey began, you know, basically. And then I started studying, reading books about the crystals, about the herbs, and about making elixirs, and about the biological, chemical makeup of the body. Because I've always been into physical stuff, the body and stuff like that. Because I was, I just was always into science and history. And so, like I said, everything just came together like a brand new leather, right? And so, in my readings and studyings of the crystals and stuff like that, I start seeing myself in the descriptions pertaining to what the crystals do. Whether it was anger, um, low self-worth, low self-esteem, procrastination. I mean, all that stuff that, you know, we humans have which are core qualities and so on and so forth. Right? So, make a long story short. Excuse me, y'all, because not everybody's popping up on my... Um, inbox now and stuff so excuse me for that so make a long story short that's when I started delving deeper into crystals as far as learning about what they can do how to use them um, and just you know change even though I was already on the pathway to change because I was doing music therapy every Thursday so I was using music as a form of therapy exercise as a form of therapy Writing, I've been writing for many years, um, watching YouTube videos, talking with people, listening, and just taking the good things that I heard and, and like just adding it onto what I already knew, but tweaking it in my own format that 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 was applicable to my situation, you know, and you know, um, you know, like you know, just like the whole gumbo or stuff. So now, case in point, so when I started studying. I started getting books on crystals, different stuff, and then, like I said, I saw myself because I'm looking at me. Remember, remember, I made I made this, um, earlier. I ain't gonna be long because you're gonna get like whatever a small amount of time to talk, and I may not be able to upload this video because Instagram has been hampering me. So if you got a pen and paper and you're really serious about what I'm talking about and you want to support the brand, I mean support, buy stuff. Um, um, consultations and stuff like that, write this down. G A R A I W H I T E. Send me a free request to Facebook, okay? I'm talking about serious business here. I'm not talking about, don't take it in the wrong way. Like, 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 like. I appreciate the likes, but what I'm saying is if you really want to heal and take your life to the next level, then, then send me the Facebook request because I, sc I screen who I allow to be on my friend, and that's because. It's about the brand, it's about elevation, it's about healing, it's about really changing and getting to where you need to be 
in your life path journey and then taking it to the next level continuously until you transition out of the earth. So that way, what you've been building while you've been in the body, you're going to see a higher form of it when you leave out of the body and you carry on with your soul body. Okay? Now, so, like I said, from reading and studying, I started doing the stuff. That's why I tell people, when you come, we're going to show you what we're doing. But we're going to listen to you. That's where the consultation comes in. You're going to tell us what you're dealing with. And I'm going to listen to you. And most of y'all know that my goal is to help you help you. Ain't nothing magical about me except one thing. I'm in healing mode, right? I'm in high cosmic frequency elevation healing mode. And I constantly look at the real person. And I keep it real with myself. Even when I make mistakes or whatever the case may be, I'm constantly checking in with myself. Why? Because deep down inside, I want to always strive to be a better version of myself. So that way, I can cry, I can laugh, I can really feel life. See, this is the key. We want to really feel life. Like, really feel it and not just be walking around existing. I want to feel life and know life. You know what I'm saying? Because that way, I can have a better understanding of my situation people's situation, in the world situation, the universal cosmic situation, so that way I don't be fooling myself and living a lie within this body and within my life. Did that, done that. I don't want to do that. I want to be as real with myself and continue the journey. That way I don't allow people to harm me, hurt me, use me, abuse me. And I don't depend on people. Why? Because I have the faculties within myself to do what it is I need to do for me. Why? Because you, I, we have to live in our bodies. So now we want to make sure that, you know what? I'm standing in my power. I'm using my power. And I don't have to tell nobody how powerful I am. All I got to do is move in my frequency. Because why? I am the flow. Say it. I am the flow. I am the frequency. Tell yourself that. So that means that you don't flow to no one else's frequency only unless it does two things. It meets you at your frequency, which is harmony, love, kindness, joy, all that other good stuff. Or it elevates your frequency and teach you more about your frequency pertaining to what it is that you're doing to become a better version of yourself towards healing, towards fulfilling some of your dreams, your aspirations, and your goals. And that's how you stay out of time-consuming, um, low-frequency situations with people, things that are wasting your time, relationships, back and forth, and this and that. No. Because you got to live in your body. So you want to make sure you're connecting the dots. You're mapping it out so it can all come together like a brand new leather. And this is what we want to do. Why? Because we're not here forever. So we want to build our soul. Build our cosmic crystalline soul power. So that way we can smile and be at peace. It has nothing to do with money. It has nothing to do with stuff. It's just... I apologize. Okay. I'm going to end the live soon. Anyway, I, I, I wish we could just upload this. I think it's one of the most powerful lives that I've ever given. Even though I do live on Facebook too. You know, with music that I, you know, created and produced and stuff like that. Which I call Cosmic Blends. Okay, now. I really need to get a tripod. But just bear with me, y'all. Okay? Just bear with me. Okay. Because I'm basically chilling, getting some sun. So, now. All, basically... Let me sit up straight because it's more better to do that. So basically what I'm just trying to say is that remember, say it right now. Say, I got to live in my body. Say it to yourself. I got to live in my body. Tell yourself that. And so being that you know that you got to live in your body, right? You're going to be with you for a while. You're going to make sure that you're doing all things necessary, taking small steps, small steps that you know what and where it is that you need to be working on. And if you don't know, that's where the consultations comes in. That's where you can either DM me or call the number or text first to see if there's a slot open and say, hey, I would like a consultation. And then, you know, we'll, you know, map it out and stuff like that. Because a lot of times we may not don't know, you know. So it's good to 
confer, talk with people who will listen. And after you talk, they will say, okay, X, Y, and Z, so on and so forth. And then a lot of times you'll see that a lot of the stuff that they may give back to you is stuff that you felt or thought about, but you just maybe were scared or you just felt, oh, it's just me, it's just happening to me. Oh, they're not going to understand me. People are going to judge me. They're going to look down on me. Nah, it's not like that. You know, let me just say this. Look, the cosmic ones, right? If you hear my voice, you're one of the cosmic ones. Okay, that's the term I had coined. The cosmic ones are, are us people who really are healing, we want to change, and we want to get better at being better with ourselves, so that way we can understand this crazy, wacky world, when it's like with the COVID and all that stuff, you know what I'm saying, because it is what it is, and being that you know you got to live in your body, you don't let outside things overwhelm you, why, because now, now you're not really fulfilling your purpose in the earth, you learn about what's going on, and then you learn how to grid and ground yourself against Whatever they trying to do, if they trying to destroy the world, okay, I have no power over that. But I'm not going to destroy my world, which is my inner world. I'm not going to destroy my inner world. So what you do is you do certain things that help you, help you, keep you positive, keep you looking at yourself, um, you know, stay in creative mode, artistic mode. I mean, it's simple. Like just at the end of the day, having a cup of herbal tea, listen to some music writing, drawing, you know, having good positive um, conversations, reading a good book, simple stuff, watching a good movie. I'm talking about simple stuff that don't require a whole lot of money. And then if you got money or whatever, you know, a little vacation or whatever case may be. But, the, but, but let me just say this because I heard this from somebody, uh, Mr. Neely Fuller. I listen to him a lot every morning. You want to always be on vacation within your mind. Why? Because why do people go on vacations? the getaway right so you want to make sure that not that when you get away you're not running away because you can go on vacation the problem may still be there and get back so by being in vacation mode because now this is coming to me i got to share it with y'all being in vacation mode means that i'm always logically mapping out and connecting the dots pertaining to me always winning and always being at peace within and when life happens I always come back to the place of peace within myself because this is what I want for myself and has nothing to do with money it's just me connecting them dots and saying you know what I'm feeling some kind of way and looking at it and then regrouping right as you calm yourself down deep breath, stuff like that, and then coming back to the place of peace, harmony, tranquility, love, and kindness, and soulless. Why? Because you have to live inside your body. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to be walking around all stressed out, scared, worried, been there, done that. That's not a good feeling. Plus, it lowers your immune system and stuff like that. Best thing I did, I'm not about the COVID, I, I just... Load it up on my sea moss, my herbs. I learned how the disease kills people, and I just strengthen my immune system. Your immune system is your real mask. Even though I got the scarf, I'll put it over my mouth. I don't cover my nose, but I learned, hey, my, my immune system is my real mask. So let me build my immune system up, get some sunlight, do a little exercise and stay positive and stuff like that and still respect people with the six feet or whatever even though I've realized that a virus cannot live outside the host. I learned that in science class but that's another topic. Anyway, if you got a pen and paper, write this down. Get a pen and paper, write it down. If you want to follow me on Facebook and you're serious about healing, you're serious about supporting the brand, right? Because on Facebook, you know, we, we, we are geared more towards consultation elevation frequency and people supporting the brand okay because we got numerous people that's been with us since day one and they've been supportive of us and i just want to say i salute y'all i respect y'all y'all know who y'all are and stuff like that i don't think i'm going to be able to upload this video because um instagram has been hampering me from loading up stuff that we have been making and creating so if you want to see what we're really doing and you want to support the brand and elevate and, and like get on your journey that you need to be on then write this down g-a-r-a-i-w-h-i-t-e and you know let your folks know your fan friends whoever people who are serious about healing 
okay? Because like I said, we you know we do the consultation, we'll listen to you, then we're gonna help you, help you, just like people helping me, helping me, so on and so forth. Some of them are still in the earth, some of them translation to higher cosmic frequency, but the message was given to me, the information was given to me, and the reason why the me the, the, the message and and, and, and and the frequency elevated because deep down inside I really wanted to be a better version of myself and change my life and just be at peace and so on and so forth to where I can smile and just say, you know what, I may be feeling some kind of way, but learning to accept that life happens. It happens whether I like it or not. So let me navigate and use logic like Mr. Neely Fuller said. And if you want to know about Mr. Neely Fuller, follow me on Facebook. Is okay, B. Bye bye. I got cologne on. Okay, take care. Okay, so it's G G A R A I W H I T E. Okay, this is about really doing this work, about healing, elevating, supporting the brand, and just taking it to the next level because it's constant. And then it's basically what it's about is you getting better with you first. So that you can understand and get better with them, whether it's mom, dad, sister, brother, the boss at the job, or just life in general. So that way you don't be walking around afraid inside of yourself. Like literally, scared of you. Inside you're shaking. You know, you're confused. You're worrying. All that. That's because you're not focusing on your flow, your frequency. Say it. I am the flow. I am the frequency. So that means that you're focusing and looking more at yourself and what it is that you can do with you. I don't care what your situation is, what you've been through, what you're going through. Been there, done that. And guess what? Life still happens to us. Things up and downs. Things, things are going to always happen because um, basically this is what I, I, I've concluded. You got, you got a lot of wicked frequency in the world. And, and it has upset the natural frequency of life. Even though life is still going to do what it's going to do. Because life shows mercy to everyone. But when life has to do what it has to do, it shows mercy to no one. I concluded that um, some months ago. So what I'm saying is learning how to better sit and function within yourself. Within your body. No matter what happens, don't happen. Because the key is... Being that your mind is your computer, right? Your mind is your computer, so that means you want to do your best to facilitate plan of action that's always going to put you on the winning side. And I'm not just talking about winning like how we see winning. I'm talking about being at peace within. No matter what happens, don't happen, that you can come back to peace, tranquility, harmony, soulless, kindness, and love. That means you become your own best friend, you become your own best company, you love yourself on a deeper level. So if you got people or you don't, you got you. Why? Because you have to live inside of your body. And this is what I've learned through trial and error, you know, studying, reflecting, sitting still, listening to different people, gathering different information, you know, and then looking at my own life path. Looking at what I did, what I didn't do, what was done to me, everything, society, everything. I had to look at all that stuff. And just like the snake sheds its skin, right? It's a shedding. It's a letting go. You know, it's a detox. You know, it's a, a emptying. You know, it's a really looking. And so you'll be able to do all of that if you just really look at who you really are. And if you need help in doing that, then you need to write this down. G-A-R-A-I-W-H-I-T-E. Send me a Facebook request. Or if you know anyone that's dealing with that. Or you can call the number on the Instagram. 929-305-7413. My number's been on there, up there for a long time since I've... This is my second Instagram page. I think I'm, I think the video's getting ready in, so get the information. So this way you can get the elevation, and then you know basically get like delve in deeper. Even 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 with with all the degrees we may have, even with all the information we have. Guess what? Low frequency. Its job is to still come at you. It's to still try to mess up your day, mess up your life, make you doubt yourself. Um, 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 cause friction and whatever that case may be. Why? Because the whole uh, um, earth has been poisoned by low frequency, by negativity. But guess what? There's a way out of it. 
There's a way out of it. You got to have the soul tools, the power tools, and know how do you deal with this situation. Inner situation, outer situation, don't know what to do situation, confused situation, all that stuff. And then once you begin to map it out, like I said, connect the dots, map it out, then it'll all come together like a brand new leather. Okay? So this is the key. It's doable. It can be done. The key is, like I said, write the information down. The number's on the gram. You can text for a consultation and stuff like that. And like I said, um, the goal is to help you help you. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing magical. There is nothing magical about me. I'm a human being just like you. You know, the key is you go through to get through. Say it. Say, I'm going to go through to get through. Okay? Because the key is, right, even if you by yourself and you're standing all alone, you still want to facilitate a plan of action that's going to put you always in the winning position. So I need to just say this. Whatever you're doing now, as far as embarking on this journey or you want to embark on the journey, don't tell nobody what you're doing, okay? Only share the positive information to those who are doing the positive stuff. Why? Because if you're sharing things about, oh, you know what? I'm changing, I'm doing this and that, and these people are not doing that, then you're not going to have what well, you may not have that firing support that you need. So right now you're going to sit still with self, right? You're going to... Um, send me the Cosmic Shaman a friend request or a text for a consultation and you know my goal is to help you help you okay that's the key you know that's the purpose of consultations and if you already been with us right then you already know what we're about you already know what basically you know what this is all about and stuff like that you know so I just you know I didn't intend on you know like talking like this and technically you know I just you know I had, to, I had to mail this lady her Moldavite pendant that I made for her. She's a return customer. Never met her in my life, but I post on Facebook, and you know, you know, she supports the brand. You know what I'm saying? And so my thing is that the best way to get help is to look at those areas that you may feel that you need help in. That's it right there. So if you're confused, you're caught up caught in, caught out, or caught down, take a deep breath, take a deep breath, and I want you to go out there and just look at the sun, look at that sun, and let that sun hit you, and I want you to thank the creator, right now, thank the creator, right, thank the creator, thank the creator, thank the creator, thank the creator, right, for allowing you to hear my voice, right, for us, the, you know, the tune in, like how we tuning in, you know what I'm saying? And for us, you know, like, 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 like to really like change, want to change, want to heal, want to be real, want to be sincere, want to let go some things, you know what I'm saying? Because we find out that, you know, it's not really who I am. They're not, you know, they really not on the frequency. I'm not elevating, you know, I'm feeling, you know, whatever I may be feeling. So if you're feeling uncomfortable pertaining to a certain situation, then that's an indicator telling you you need to regroup, right? You need to re-logic your logic, right? You need to, uh, um, like, step back, step out, and step up. Step back, step out, step up. That just came to me. Step out, step back, and step up. Hopefully somebody can DM me that, what, what I just said, because I may not be able to upload this video and rewatch it. So you want to step out, step back, and step up. Why? Because you got to live in your body. So you tell yourself. So when you're getting too angry, you're getting too upset, when you're doubting your power, you're doubting your magic, you say, hold up. What are we doing here? I got to live in my body. You're still breathing, right? Okay. You got to live in your body. So you want to understand the purpose of what life is. Life is a gift. That's what it is. It's a gift for you to get you together. So when your soul transitions out your body, right, whatever you've been building as far as, like, sincerity, trust, love, hope, kindness, all that stuff, and really making the breakthrough within yourself and saying, you know what, I got to get myself together. You know, I got to stop lying to myself. I got to stop thinking I need to be with them and I'm so attached and this and that. Here it is. I'm not even building my own soul powers. I can stand alone if I have to stand alone. Or if something happened, I may go through some feelings, but I can bounce back because I got some tools. You know, I got some meditative things that I do. 
you know, whether it's eating right, thinking right, whatever it may be, talking, you know, like, listen, 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 this is not about money. I'm sitting in the park right now and I'm letting the sun hit me. I'm basking in the sun. That's how simple healing can be. For some of us, it's a little bit more of a journey. But the key is you can get there, right? You can be there. You can feel better within. But the key is you have to get honest with yourself. Find out what makes you tick. Dig deep. Dig deep. Dig. 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 Mine. Your mind. There's a wealth of just gold, platinum, diamonds, and all of that. Yeah, we get fancy schmancy when we get all dressed up, put on cologne and designer this and that and all that. Yeah, that's all cool and dandy. But what about really touching the true inner self of self? That's true freedom. So you got the information? Send me a Facebook request because I'm being hampered from really, really posting on Instagram. But on Facebook, you know, I really... You know, I'm able to do that until we get a website up and stuff like that. You know, so the number's there. If you want to do a consultation, you text first, okay, and say, hey, I want to do a consultation, and then we'll facilitate plan of action. Like I said, if you're not serious, if listen to me, I need to say this. If you're not serious, please do not DM me. Do not text me. Don't send me a Facebook request if you're not serious. And I'm not trying to, like, say, you know, no, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that I have a passion. This is in me. Okay, so if you really want, um, how would I say it? Like I said earlier, I'm going to help you help you. What I'm saying is your tools that you was born with through the will of the creator, I'm going to show you how to horn them and how to really use them on a deeper level. Like literally, you already got it. You was born with it. I was born with it, but somewhere along the line, we either was, um, we deviated, we went astray, we got lost, we doubted ourselves, or, you know, we were bashed, we crashed, whatever, whatever the situation may have been. The key is that you found the freedom, you will be given the freedom, and the key is that you want to be um, in, in, like, using logic, like Mr. Neely Fuller says, to know that, you know what, I am strong. I am powerful, I am confident, I am kind, I am real. Why? Because I'm being real within myself. Why? Because you have to live in your body. So this is the whole um, life, the life, the life path plan. Understanding I have to be with myself for a while. I don't know how long I'm going to be in this body, but I want to make sure that everything is okay. So this is what I do, and I'm going to let y'all go. In the morning when I go in the bathroom, or like any time during the day, if I may be feeling some kind of way, I go in the mirror, I'll be like, yo, you all right? <laughs> I literally do that. I'll be like, yo, 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 Gary, you all right? Okay. And I'll be like, I love you. And I hug myself, you know? I'll be like, yeah, I'm proud of you. Yeah. I'm telling you. Because the key is, if you know you got to live with you and be with you for a while, don't you want to make sure that you are your own best friend? And you are your own best company and you loving yourself on a deeper level? Why I got to be around a bunch of people and go shopping and all that old stuff just to try to run away from myself? And I'm still feeling these feelings of inadequacy of low self-esteem and all that. Nah, I'll listen, here's the deal. I want to be a powerhouse within this house, within this body that the creator has given me. So that way I know at the end of the day, everything is okay. I'm all right. Why? Because I'm doing things to make sure I'm okay. I'm all right. I'm getting with the cosmic ones. I'm getting with the frequency. Why? Because I am the flow. I am the frequency. Okay? I'm rambling now, so I'm, I'm conscious of that. So I'm going to end this, um, this um, Instagram live. Information, numbers on the gram. Text for consultation. Get a pen and paper. G-A-R-A-I-W-H-I-T-E Facebook If you're not serious Don't DM me Don't text Don't call Don't send me a Facebook request No, I'm not being arrogant I'm being humble Because This is my life Mission here You know, I know what my mission is already This is my mission To help you Help you I'm the Cosmic Shaman I didn't intend on saying any of this But I just want to say Hey, you know what? You You, 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 you have to live inside of your body.
Thanks for listening.